In the previous video, we have completed the picking up system and the inventory system. Now the player can pick up any weapon from the environment and then that weapon will be added to the inventory. But whenever we draw that weapon, it doesn't play that animation which are related to that weapon. For example, if we pick up the handgun, it will not play that handgun animations. This is because we are not assigning the handgun animator controller whenever we draw the handgun so in this video we will do that as you know that in our resources folder we have added all of these animator controller for different weapons as you can see for the bazooka and the handgun and then if you see right here in the inventory whenever we draw the handgun or the shotgun we are enabling and disabling the scripts and according to that rifle or weapon and also we are enabling and disabling that weapon in the player hands as well so in the similar way we need to assign that specific animator controller at runtime and we will do that in the handgun script so go inside scripts rifles then open up the handgun script we will start from the handgun for this right here at the top first of all create a bool by the name of handgun active and set this to true because whenever this script becomes enabled okay right here we are doing just that if you see this lines whenever the player draws the first weapon which is the handgun we will show the handgun in the player hands and then we are enabling and disabling the scripts okay so right here we enable the handgun script so now whenever the handgun script is enabled this will be as you know will be equals to true and when this is equals to true then what we will do we will say that if the handgun active is true then we will change the animator at the runtime in the game if you see right here we have this animator controller attached so for now as you can see it is the player controller and we want that whenever we draw the handgun we want to change this controller to the gun controller okay which is inside the resources folder at runtime so we will say animator dot runtime animator controller this will be equals to resource actually the folder name is resources as you can see right here resources and then inside the resources we have this gun animator so make sure that you name this as resources as well because it will not work in any other name so resources dot load and we want to load the animator controller at runtime so we will say runtime animator controller then right here we will say gun animator which is basically our gun animator controller as you can see right here it is gun animator so get back right here make sure that it type the names correctly the resources and the gun animator and also the other code as well and once that is done save the script get back to unity click on player and right here as you can see we have for now the player controller right here and also the player script is enabled by default okay now if you play the game you can still see that the player controller is activated right here and the player script as well now if we walk towards the handgun and let's buy it now as you can see it shows handgun pickup and if we see our inventory as you can see right here this is our handgun now inside our inventory okay now let's move to this side and actually click on player again and now if we try to press one then you will notice that this controller will be changed and also the script will be disabled as you can see now as you can see the player script is disabled and also the controller is changed to gun controller and if we 
see inside the player body in the rifle holder as you can see the gun is activated and now we can walk we can aim and walk as you can see we can now shoot wherever we want for now my mouse is a little bit funky but as you can see now it working perfectly fine so it means that now we can change the animator controller at runtime for the handgun only let's do it for the other weapons as well so if we click on scripts rifles we have done it for the handgun now let's open up the shotgun script let's get back right here let's copy this if condition get back to the shotgun script right here in the update we will say that now create a pool first of all by the name of shotgun active this will be equals to true by default and then down below we will say that if shotgun active is equal equals to true then we will change the animator at runtime so let me check out the animator name it is shotgun animator so we will say shotgun animator so if we now save the script and now let's open up the other scripts as well which will be now the UZ and also the bazooka now let's click on the UZ and right here in the update we will do the same let's copy this if condition paste it right here and then at the top we will say boon let's now name this as uz active which will be by default equals to true and let's copy that paste it down below let's check out the animator name it is uz animator let me check out the bazooka it is bazooka animator okay so get back right here now change this to uz animator that's it now get back to bazooka for this at the top let's create a bool by the name of bazooka active it will be equals to true then let's copy the if condition from here uh, in the update let's paste it and change this to bazooka active and the animator name is bazooka animator that's it so we have done it for all of the weapons as you can see now get back to unity and now when we pick any weapon the animator of the player will be changed and according to that weapon and also the scripts and the weapons in the player hand will be enabled disabled and accordingly so let's play the game okay let's go ahead and pick up the handgun and also for now for this testing we will pick up the bazooka actually okay we can't buy that let's just pick up the shotgun okay so now if we see the inventory as you can see we have the handgun and the shotgun so now click on player now as you can see the player script is enabled and also the controller so now if we uh, press the one button as you can see the player draws the handguns and now the script is being disabled and the animator has been changed now as you can see it plays the animations and accordingly okay as you can see now we can shoot wherever we want now let's try to draw the shotgun and as you can see it draws the shotgun as well and if you notice the controller has been changed automatically and now we are holding down the shotgun and we can fire wherever we want and now the same thing will be for the UZ and for the bazooka as well you can test it out by your own but now as you see we can change rifles we can update our inventory and also we can update the animator controllers just like in most of the games just like in GTA 5 the player has more than one animator controller 
so with this done i will see you guys in the next one